Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. We're going to talk today a little bit about the V71. A question came up about a feature in the radio, and this has been a question for over 10 years. A question that I even asked Kenwood and didn't get an answer to, and I finally have an answer. But in getting the answer, I learned a whole lot about the radio. So I thought I'd share that with you. The Kenwood V71, I have the programmer here. And the Kenwood radios don't have banks, not banks per se. They have memory groups from 0 to 99, from 100 to 200 from 200 to 300 and on up through the whole group. And you see in this file, I have big spaces between them and they come and go and I have things up into group the 300s, which would be group three. But how are you gonna use those? How are you gonna get the best use out of them? And we are going to look at the radio in a minute, and I'm going to show you how these work for scanning. But right now we're going to go to settings, and we're going to start with radio menu settings. And I want to talk about these memory group names. Since I'm talking about memory groups, let's talk about those. I found out today that those are not a part of the radio's programming. You can type them in there all day long and they don't show up on the radio. Those and programmable memory name are something that Kenwood used in their software if you happen to use the Kenwood software and you would see this name appear on the screen. So that answers that question. As wonderful as those would be when you're making your selections, they don't show up on the radio. Now, PM0, PM1, PM2, PM3, 4, and 5. These are six configurations of the memory channels that you see in the background. The one we're going to talk about today is scanning, and it has to do with group link. And I am in PM0 right now. And I'm going to point out to you my color is green. That's going to make a difference in a minute. And my group link is 0 and 1, which means it will scan from 0 to 100, and from 100 to 200, and then cycle back around to 0. In PM1, if you do some comparing, you'll see the screens are identical. These are the same options six different times, and you're going to use them to your advantage. Group link here is 1 and 3. That means it's going to scan the 100s and the 300s. Think about it. How can you organize your channels so that this is the group that you want to scan? This might be kind of handy for a trip across country. And the first day we scan one state, and the second day we scan the next state, and so on. Also, on the front panel, we have a PF1 key for group up. Boy, Heidi, did I find that to be handy. Because I've separated my channels out, so I have a few from 0 to 20, and then a few more from 100 to 120, and then a few more from 200 to 210. And turning the knob on the radio was a real bother to change between memory channels. And all I have to do with the P1 key is hit it, and I go from zero 
to 100 to 200 to 300 and back to zero. I think it actually works backwards, but you get the idea. It was cool. So let's close this. Send it to the radio. And we'll be back in a minute. Well, I said that we'd look at the radio. Here's the Kenwood TMV71. Like I said, my PM0 is green. Let's do changing PMs first. PM. See the little bitty numbers that came up right down here? Now it's orange because my PM1 is orange. And now I'm back in PM0 or off as they call it. Now, if I push and hold the memory, it scans and notice the numbers. All the numbers are coming up. This is a full memory scan. If I, I'm on number 200 now. And if I press and hold the knob, I'm scanning just the 200s. So if you organize your channels right, you can take advantage of these banks so you scan only the ones that you want. This may be the parade channels. This may be the EMC channels. This may be the search and rescue or other activity that you do. And now you're scanning just those. The P1 key. Now I'm on channel 100. Now I'm on channel 0. Now I'm on channel 100. 200, 300, 0, and that was the P1 key with it set to group up, which I thought was kind of cool. If I scan this time, this will take a little longer, but notice the single digits, the double digits, the 100s. A minute ago, it had 200s and 300s in it, and now it has single digits, the double digits, and the 100s, and that's all it's scanning. Group scan started by pressing and holding this knob for one second. Let's go to PM1. I'm on channel 300. Three hundreds and one hundreds. I know it's a little hard to see. It's the number to the right of the frequency. And it's 300s and 100s because in this programmable mem memory, those are the two groups I told it to, to scan. At any time, I can go to one that's not included, press and hold the knob. And it only scans those in that group. Or at any time, I can press and hold the MR key, and it scans everything. PM3. And it says right there which one's active. And this time when I scan, this looks like the single and double digits. And notice I did something different there. Oh, pressing this knob also will take you back and forth between names and frequencies, which is kind of cool. Okay. Now we're back out of weather and we're in our memory channels. And I'm going to go up to. See how handy that key is? The 200s. And let's push and hold. And I get the 200s and the 300s because that's the group I have here. You get the idea. Now it's up to you. Little organization will get it done. That's what you're after. It's your radio. Make it do what you want it to do. So this is Karen. And remember, 
if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.